Good morning, you guys. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Happy New Year. As they say, um, and I hope all went well. I hope you guys are safe. Staying away from Amarion and all that other good stuff. But I want to give my condolences to the family of Max Julian, who played whoa, Goldie, and who, I guess for my generation, uh, single-handedly made all the guys in my neighborhood think that they were a pimp, okay? We knew about Iceberg Slim. Of course, I'm from Milwaukee. I'm from the Midwest, so pimping is a thing, okay? Pimps up, holes down. Uh, however, Max Julian and Priest, I mean, not Priest, Goldie, they had more of an impact probably than Superfly, actually, in my neighborhood. Anyway, Max Julian, who starred with Richard Pryor in an iconic black exploitation movie, The Mac died on New Year's Eve day. His wife, Arabella, found him that morning. His PR team told TMZ. But the precise time of death has uh, not been made public. Although uh, it is though it is thought that the death was also his birthday, um, the website reports that in fact he was actually born in July. Um, let's see. Uh, you know, actually, I saw a couple movies of Julian's after that. I believe he did another movie where he was a cowboy, black cowboy. And, of course, uh, The Black Klansman was the first time I saw him. Uh, was PR person said, during his decades-long career, he was known for being bold, honest, and straightforward. Max made his bones in the New York theater scene, I figured, including the famous Shakespeare in the Park productions of Joe Papp. And that began in the 50s. By the 60s, he had begun to working in Hollywood, making a big screen debut uh, with a supporting role in 1960s film, The Black Klansman. <laughs> Two years later, he was acclaimed for his lead uh, turn as a black revolutionary in Uptight, which is set amid the riots following Martin Luther King's assassination. Another good one. Max himself... Uh, had some knowledge of the Malou, and in an interview in the 1990s, he revealed that he was close friends with the Black Panther Party uh, co-founder, Huey Newton. A further half decade on, he led the cast of the Mac as Goldie, who embarks on a career as a pimp after five years behind bars. Goldie became Mac's most Famous role amid the cast who also fought, featured Juanita Moore as his mother and Richard Pryor as his business partner. Um, it's interesting because we are so into um, I guess movies much more so and we act out on them because we want life uh, to imitate that art, and sometimes it does, uh, and uh, sometimes it's a bad influence on the culture. Although, uh, like I said, pimping was always there. It was just this movie kind of brought it to the forefront and uh, turned a lot of young men who could have been. <laughs> much more they aspired to be pimps. Well, in my neighborhood, hell, we had Kenny Ivey, uh, you know, Stuart Burks, uh, 
who else? I mean, there's a lot of guys. Uh, Melvin, Milton Freeman, all those guys I grew up with. All of them used to hang around Hamps Hash House. And um, he was a very big influence on the culture. Yes, Kenny Ivey is from Milwaukee, in case y'all didn't know. Um, he grew up around the corner from me. Uh, anyway, uh, when people get on, used to get on his case about this role, something he said that really... I don't know, kind of uh, got me. It's interesting how he thought. Uh, me, Goldie's brother, Alinga, a black nationalist who wants pimps and pushers off the street, is played by Roger Mosley, who is best known for his role in Magnum P.I. But Max Julian argued that in 1971, Hollywood was dying, and it was looking for subsidization from the government. And suddenly somebody came along, and God bless him, <laughs> called Melvin Van Peoples, okay? He did a film, and whatever you might think of it, he called this Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song, oh yeah. And it turned the entire industry around. Max shared, and suddenly they said, wow, there are black people out there who go and see movies. Like we hadn't gone to the big, going to the movies all along, right? And suddenly, black films were being made and made and made and made and made, and nobody's giving credit to the fact that those films literally saved Hollywood. Although Max made a few films after the Mac, including the 1974 western Thomasine and Bushrod, it was Goldie who echoed down through the generations. Rappers galore from Snoop Dogg to Dr. Dre had been influenced by Goldie, and Max was, in fact, personal friends with Snoop Dogg as well. You know, it's interesting uh, when you think about the Tavis Stock Institute and uh, how their whole setup is to imitate what you feel uh, is worthy or what's, what what we want to socially engineer a community or a consumer into buying. And when it came to black exploitation movies, there was no no difference. I mean, the Rudy Ray Moores, the Cleopatra Joneses, the Foxy Browns, all those things um, were geared towards black audiences because black audiences like that kind of um you know, action in their movies. Michael Campus, who directed the film, shared a behind-the-scenes documentary that Max and Richard were instrumental to the screenplay. We wrote the last five drafts of the script. Basically, Max and Richard and myself, said Michael, although Robert Poole is credited as a screenwriter. The character was based on a real-life pimp called Frank Ward, who assisted the production by providing extras and allowing it to be filmed on his turf. But while the movie was being made, Frank himself was shot in the head in the middle of the night while he sat in a Rolls Royce with his girlfriend. Max reflected that, um, I really believed in my heart that if Frank had chosen another way of life, he could have made a major contribution to the world. You know what I'm saying? He was one of those kind of people. He was extraordinary. He was an extraordinary human being, you know. And if you really look at it, said Max, there was a sadness about me throughout the whole film because that's where I was as a human being, and I couldn't hide it. That is me, and I think that's really what people have related to. You know, because there was, there was a um, sadness over him. He was, uh, huh. well, I don't want to go into the life of Goldie, but rest in peace, Max Julian. Uh, we honor you. You are now an ancestor, going into the ancestor realm. And um, my condolences to your family. May God bless you. And y'all... Find some peace.
when it's hard to. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video.